There were two classes of charitable people. One, the people who did a little and made a great deal of noise. The other, the people who did a great deal and made no noise at all. Charles Dickens. Hi, I'm Tamara Michelle. We are Real Conversations podcast created in Dauphin, Manitoba. Today, we have a series of short special interviews for the Parkland Ukrainian Family Fund with the Dauphin Consumers Co-op discussing their contribution and the impact it's had on our community. Also, we have some of our new immigrant families through Parkland Ukrainian Family Fund, Natalia, Yana, and Sophie, who share some of their story with us. Thank you to our show sponsors, Banker Marketing, Dr. Brenna and Three Graces Medispa, Real Security Solutions, Right Side Equipment of Dauphin, Oil Depot of Dauphin, Roofs Furniture and Appliances of Dauphin, Tri Family, Health, Beauty and Fine Gifts of the Paw, Ramsey's Health and Fitness of Dauphin, Cloud Nine Canis Supplies of Dauphin, and Hearts to Nature, Fine Art, Nature Photography. And nice to meet nice you, Natalia. Nice to meet you. Um, you one, one thing that I have to say just struck me right off the bat is watching you interview earlier. Um, for everything that you've gone through, you have a joy about you. And I, I just want to talk about that first because it's really struck me. <laughs> um, where do you find, with everything that you've been through, and I, I only heard little bits, where do you find that? Where do you find that within you, the strength that you have? Uh, I live for my daughter. She's two. Uh, Milana makes me do everything I I have to do. Like uh, I have my, I take my energy from her, and I, I I live for her. So I I can't give up. So I don't have a choice. That's that's beautiful, and um, I think it's encouraging and a reminder to us, uh, even here in the community. You know, we don't know what it's like for someone else until you walk a mile in someone else's shoes. So all we can do is is ask about your story and uh, and give back I guess that's that's what I want to say thank you for meeting with me here today on behalf of the Parkland Ukrainian Family Fund uh, today I have with me I have Lauren Efright uh, and he is the uh, general manager of the Dauphin Consumer Co-op correct correct yeah. and uh, we also have Chris Dysiak and he is the uh, president of the board, correct? Correct. For the Dauphin Co-op. And Patty Eilers, and she is one of our council members here from the city of Dauphin. Also a director on the oh. Dauphin Co-op. Secretary of the Co-op. And se- well, that doesn't surprise me, Patty. <laughs> 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 so, well, thank you all for uh, meeting with me here today to discuss basically what's going on with the Parkland Ukrainian Family Fund. And this has been sort of a community project from the beginning. Um, many, many, many volunteers, volunteer hours, many, many donations from the community, um, small, large, all all kinds. Uh, today, we're here to talk about a, a very large donation being made here locally by the Dauphin Consumers Co-op. And can you, Lauren, can you speak to that, what exactly that is? Yeah, we donated $24,100 and uh, to supply the, the Ukrainian families with food and fuel, and, and really humble uh, to be able to do that. Yes. Well, it's it's wonderful to have a project like this um, and to have the community spirit because Dauphin Consumer Co- Consumers Co-op is about as local as you're going to get. Absolutely. I mean, this is funded uh, from everyone from the farmers to the, the grocery buyers, everyone who buys gas. There's so many different ways that we can participate in the Dauphin Consumers Co-op. And, Absolutely. And so to see this come back with fruition, uh, you know... It's a natural. It's, <laughs> well, you say it's a natural thing, but it, I just, I find it so amazing that um, a community this size, because we really aren't that large. No, we're not. Uh, like when it comes yes. per capita and the generosity that has happened yes. in such a small region um, for this cause. Um, can you tell me why, on the last, Chris, is that yeah, right? Absolutely. Uh, can you tell me why you guys decided as a board, uh, as a business to support this? Well, it's, it's actually fairly easy. The Dauphin Co-op was built by the people of the community. And the only way it gets ahead is because the people of the community work together to make the co-op. Now, the co-op has made profits, but we it, those profits go back to the members of the community. They build facilities like we stand, what we're standing next to, but they also return, we've returned millions of dollars back to the community. It doesn't leave the town, it doesn't leave the region, it doesn't leave the province, it stays here and it works for the people. The generosity of the people in the community is easy because it's built out of this whole program. 
well. And I, you know, I, I don't think a lot of people realize that yeah. the, the co-op participates in that way. And we see it in other ways. Yeah. But this is just, I think, um, it, it really stands out because this has been a very local project. This has been something that um, the community has come together as a whole. And I say Dauphin, but I know also Parkland, like areas right. in the Parkland. There's been donations given of everything All from, throughout. you know, gifts in kind to, yeah. you know, like everything, you know, furnishings. Um, yeah. Landlords have come forward with uh, reduced rent or no rent. Like it's been a really beautiful yeah. thing. And this is not funded by the government. And that's the thing I Correct. I just stress to people is if it, if it wasn't for programs like right. yours, yeah. uh, willing to give back to something that supports the community and the heart of the community, right. uh, we wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. So a big thank you uh, from us. I, on behalf of the community is kind of how I'm speaking because I, you know, it's kind of those tear jerker moments. Yeah. Um, and then Patty, I have a question for you. So um, when it comes to the community, and I know that you, you kind of wear the, the two hats as well, you know, being yes. on the city and seeing uh, the needs of the city and, and uh, different things come forward for you, you know, as a city councillor. How do you feel um, this promotes our community when it comes to the project and co-op supporting? We, okay, as a co-op, we're community uh, builders. The city, too, is engaged in, in making a difference to all our community members. And it speaks to the diversity of our community, but also the joining and and making a project come to fruition. So what we're doing is really helping people in need. And, and that goes to our community members, but also members who are coming to join our community. So um, it gives us a, a, a real uh, sense of purpose that we are trying to help people, not only in our community, but people who are coming to our community. Well, that's, it's beautiful. And a really great thing to see how immigration works as well, because I think this has been an eye opener for all yes. of us. So I really appreciate your time. Thanks again for, uh, for chatting with me. Well, thank you're you. Welcome. Yeah, right. You're yes. welcome. Thanks. Nice talking to you. We are actually getting to know a few of our new members in our community today uh, through the Parkland Ukrainian Family Fund. We have Father Brent here with us and Yana. Nice to meet you, Yana. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> um, so I understand that you've had an, a difficult journey to get here. And a lot of the people in the community have been eager and hopeful in wanting to to help, to 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 care for for others and to show kindness. Um, what has been your experience coming to Dauphin? Jak ty ty lubisz być u Dauphin i co wy co ty baczyła, co ty zrobiła, jak jak przyjechał? Ну, ходила на зустріч на фестиваль українців, українські фестивалі. І кожен день з кимось спілкуюсь, знайомлюсь. Тобто ще поки що так нічого не бачила, тільки от тільки починає. З, з Польщі, як ти приїхала. Про що ти думала про Канаду, про Довфен і, і так далі? Ну, я взагалі не знала, куди точно я їду. Тобто я дивилася в інтернеті, що це невелике місто, що там будуть нам допомагати, але я так та ну не знала, боялась трошки. So she was she was a little bit concerned and a little bit frightened to come to Canada. She looked on the internet and, and found uh, found often, noticed that it was a smaller community, and noticed also that it would probably be just by the internet uh, site. Uh, by Lindsay's site, uh, noticed that it would be a very helpful community for her. Well, that's wonderful. And and has it proven to be welcoming? Like, the people, if you're at the grocery store, or the volunteers that you're getting to know, and uh, the people in the community that you're bonding with, have you found that that spirit, that community spirit? You wish that you встречала тут в Удалфі, як вони були до тебе, як вони спілкувалися. Дуже добре, всі знайомляться, всі посміхаються, про щось питають, кажуть, щоб я їм писала, там відправляла фото, що я роблю кожен кожен день. Every day, someone is is coming to her. Someone is being friendly with her. Someone is helpful. People are always smiling, they're always joyful uh, around her and, and, and she really notices that, notices that about the people.
helpful and joyous all the time. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's great. That's what I. That's what I think we would hope as a community. Huh? And have you found coming to Dauphin with? There is some Ukrainian descent, so not not current not current because this is maybe third maybe third generation ukrainian but the culture is here the 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 love of the people um did you notice that here українці тут у довгі третій може четвертий поклін вже але чи ти бачила що дійсно ми є українці що культура і і мова і і так далі тут далі існується бачила на фестивалі мене знайомили з багатьми людьми з великою кількістю людьми. І спілкувалися в церкві, також я бачила, розмовляли зі мною українською, так? Так. So up at, at Sola, Ukraine, she, she met a few people, probably on the board or, or what have you, and she noticed that obviously the, you know, the culture up there, the, 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 the church building is up there, the village is, is there. So she, she noticed that, uh, and, and she met people, obviously, who uh, spoke Ukrainian and uh, always wanted to interact with her all the time. Uh, Sunday mornings in, in, in church, when, when she's there, she notices that the, the whole parish community and the you know, community also speaks Ukrainian and, and wants to interact with her as well. So, Aww, yes, she notices wonderful. that. That's wonderful. And one last question. For the time that you've been here, um, what is your most memorable moment so far in coming to Dauphin? Одна точка, що, що ти будеш весь час, ціле своє життя пам'ятати, як ти приїхала від п'ятницю до сьогодні, що най, най, найбільше, най, найвелика... Ну, перше Фокус. враження, напевно, це які люди щирі, відкриті і дуже емоційні. Тобто вони з усіми, усім кажуть привіт, усім посміхаються, і дуже відкриті, спілкуються постійно. Ну, тобто так дуже емоційні. Ну, я не знаю, вони живі. Живі. Mm-hmm. Ну, я не, не відчуваю себе такою живою, як вони. Я відчуваю себе, не знаю, як квітка. Mm-hmm. Не знаю, може так. So the emotional condition, the, the positive emotional condition of the people in Dauphin is what struck her. The openness, the, the kindness, the welcoming. Um, it, it seems that all of us are joyous here because we're always smiling. <laughs> and, and she feels like a flower amongst us, Aww. just ready to bloom. Oh, you tell her that she is, yes. 100%. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you uh, for the interview today and uh, thank you for coming to our community we're so we're just over the moon happy to have you here <laughs> same thing she's very happy to be amongst people like us <laughs> lovely all right thank you Yana. Thank you. <laughs> I have been asked to keep some of the images and last names of the Parkland Ukrainian Family Fund immigrant families confidential for their privacy and or safety. I'm here with Sofia, uh, one of the newest members brought in from Ukraine with immigration for the Parkland Ukrainian Family Fund. And I'm also here with Father Brent. Thank you for coming in to do some interpreting for us. Um, So Sofia, lovely to meet you. Um, You have come a long way uh, to be here. And as a community, first of all, I want to welcome you because it's so exciting to have to have you here Uh, without knowing your story um, as a community just to reach out with with love and kindness and respect and uh, and just welcome you thank you very much <laughs> nice to meet you too. thank you um so you have been in Dauphin now about how long for maybe um near two weeks two weeks okay um so this has been fairly new then this is like two weeks is a holiday like usually you go somewhere and you come back in two weeks that's a short period of time um how how has the transition been uh so many things being different uh from ukraine uh you know <clears throat> sorry 
we have things that are different, but uh, things uh, the same. It's uh, one of these. It's people. It's very kindness people. We very loved people in Canada because they very helpful, kindness and help us for all that we need. Oh, well, we're we're glad to be part of that and part of your experience uh, here uh, and to have you here in our community because um, you know we didn't know. I don't think when the, when the group was started just exactly who was going to be coming or you know it, it was start, right. started with an idea right Father Brent yes. and uh, and and I think with compassion it was an idea and compassion is really what breathed life into the whole thing it's absolutely amazing you know we started out right after the incursion and the invasion happened in Ukraine we started out with with an idea and hoped that we could bring and, and support two or three families but with the kindness of of everybody in the Parkland region, you know, around Dauphin, um, the, the fund grew and grew, and we kept expanding the number of families that we could bring in and, and support. So now we're up to hopefully being able to bring in 12, 12 families. And I mean, and that's no small feat as far as organizing and volunteers. And I had overheard um, you saying, and, and Lindsay as well, that the volunteer um, just the, the, and it's not always money that people give. No. They give their expertise. They give their knowledge. They give their their time. And we know how busy we all are. Um, I think that's the thing that struck me is that we've all found time to do something, yes. whatever it is that we can do, or if it's monetary, or uh, and then. So I guess my next question would be uh, for Sophia. So now that you've been here for a couple of weeks. Um, has there been anyone uh, in the in the with the Parkland Ukrainian Family Fund or one of the volunteers that um, has really struck you or been able to bond with you uh, in support or in like I guess in support um, if I understand correctly um, our family support all time or every day somebody call or somebody text me and ask how are you what we need or something what uh, we do next that uh, have a job or do all our documents or something it's um, <clears throat> very important and all of us feel uh, kindness and support uh, every time for all day all week everything well we hear so that's wonderful. So you you're, you basically said that it doesn't matter what time of day since you've gotten here, you have felt support yeah. round the clock. Yeah. Uh, and, and it hasn't been, so it, has it been a nice balance? Not too much, not too little? Oh, because sometimes we can love people <laughs> like too, too much. much. <laughs> Maybe it's perfect balance because um, when we come from apartment, what pre pre prepared for us, it was prepared for us. Um, it was amazing because people think for everything that we need. Mm. It's about meal it's about uh, basic needs it's all was in this apartment when we lived now and it was also really when we come and we have uh, uh, I don't know shampoo we have uh, shower gel we have everything that we need and yeah it's no you to know your basic needs are met and you don't have to ask for anything if we need, we can ask, but no, we have everything that we need. <laughs> that is that is wonderful. And I guess that goes to show again the thoughtfulness. Uh, and it's, it really is the thoughtfulness that has gone into the whole project uh, from everything from the furnishings to, you know, things that they may need or... Uh, and I'm curious, Father... Right, right, down, right down to food and car seats and everything that they would need. So, you know, we, we've tried to envisualize what a brand new family coming to Dauphin would need. It's almost like an Airbnb of yes. sorts, but you've stocked the fridge and stocked right? Fridge. Like, yes. you know, you're not expecting them to find their own meals. Like everything yeah. is ready. Everything's ready. It's, that is just beautiful. Uh, Sophia, I hope to see you again and, and maybe get a chance to know you a little bit better. And I welcome you to your community or to our community here of Dauphin. And thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you. Having a good day. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Brenna and Three Graces Medispa has been inspiring love, confidence, and health and humanity since 2019. Dr. Brenna's skin therapists have the advanced knowledge required to revitalize and rejuvenate your skin. Radio frequency, micro needles, chemical peels, and oxygen neo superfacials are just a couple of the treatments we offer. To learn more about Dr. Brenna and Three Graces Medispa, visit our website at threegraces.ca or call us at 204-572-5774 for a free consultation.
Thank you to our show sponsors, Bankert Marketing, Dr. Brenna and Three Graces Medispa, Real Security Solutions, Right Side Equipment of Dauphin, Oil Depot of Dauphin, Roofs Furniture and Appliances of Dauphin, Try Family, Health, Beauty and Fine Gifts of the Paw, Ramsey's Health and Fitness of Dauphin, Cloud Nine Canna Supplies of Dauphin, and Hearts to Nature, Fine Art, Nature Photography. See you next week.